I don't know if you guys hear that too, but it sounds like there's a baby screaming in the background. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make the song Lemonade by Internet Money, Don Tolliver, Gunna, and Nav using FL Studio 20. Two quick things before I get started. Number one, check the link in my description to go to my other video where the full finished remake will be. I can't put it in this video because of copyright restrictions. Number two, I wanna give a big shout out to Melodics for sponsoring this video. Melodics is an awesome app that helps producers and musicians learn how to play their MIDI keys, pads and drums, like the MIDIs that you see in all my videos. So go check out the Melodics link in my description to get access to a special deal and download the app for free. So first thing, hop into FL Studio, 140 BPM is what we're at. And I'm gonna get started with the guitar melody that plays throughout the whole song. And this melody is actually a sample by Alec Wigdahl, I think is how you say his name. He's an internet money. I think he's an artist and a producer, so he pretty much does it all. And I don't play guitar, so I asked my brother if he could, you know, play the guitar for me like he did in one of my past videos, and he said no. So I actually went over to Alex's Instagram, and this post right here, he has the voice memo from the original song. And it took him two tries, because that one wasn't good. So yeah, this is pretty fire. So I basically downloaded that and it looked like this when I first got it and I managed to chop it up, you know, put it onto the tempo and get this. So this is our final product. I don't know if you guys hear that too, but it sounds like there's a baby screaming in the background twice. Right there. And then right at the end. And ever since I heard that, I can't unhear it. And the funny thing is, it's in the actual song too. Like, listen right here. So yeah, Alec, if you're watching this video, let me know if that's actually a baby or what. But for this guitar, we have an EQ to cut out the highs and the lows. RC20 retro color to give it a vintage effect. Fruity limiter, I think this is just compressing it a little bit. Stereo shaper to put it in your left headphone. Chorus to add uh, sort of depth to the sound. And wider is going to separate in your headphones even more. Stereo imaging, it's called, I think. So yeah, guys, unfortunately, I couldn't play this sample myself because I never learned how to play guitar. But you know, ever since I started producing, I've only really been able to learn how to play a little piano and my MIDI. So you know, I do know how to play an instrument and that's all thanks to today's sponsor, Melodics. Melodics is a desktop app that teaches you how to play your keyboard, MIDI drums, and pads. There's entire courses in the app for people from beginner all the way to advanced expert players. But if a whole course isn't your thing, there's tons of one-off lessons that you can try out just for fun or to hone some technical skills. One lesson in the app that I recommend trying out is the fake Rolex lesson. I recommended it before, it's super catchy, and the fast moving chords really test your skills. So if you're still debating on whether or not Melodics is for you, you can download the app for free and click the link in my description for access to a special deal. All right, getting back to the video, the next thing that we're gonna add in after the guitar is an intro synth. This is gonna be like a sub bass type thing. I'm grabbing the clipped signs bass out of Omnisphere, and this is the pattern we're playing with no effects on it. I'm gonna throw Sausage Fattener on right away so you guys can hear it. And we're gonna go ahead and paste that right under our melody. Next, we're grabbing some hi-hats. I'm going with the Nick Near, same old hi-hat out of the Nick Near Contra kit. This is the pattern we're playing with the hats with no effects on them. I do just have wider on, which is gonna separate that in your headphones just a tiny bit. And also the reason the hat sounds so low is because I have an automation clip on the pitch. During the intro, these hats are gonna go from about 800, 900 cents down, and they're gonna slowly pitch up. Hear the difference? Next for this song, we got our clap. I have the BWB Wave R Us Snare 2. And I also have the Nick Mira LWH clap out of the Diesel Kit. And I wanna give a big shout out to one of my followers for actually telling me which clap this is in this song. I just posted an Instagram story and they hit me up telling me and I was like, all right, bet you're gonna go on the video. This is the pattern we're playing with the claps. And if you see, there's uh, that Nick Mira double clap right here. Next up, we got a riser that's bringing us into the downbeat on beat 17. It's the Nick Mirror Signature FX is what I grabbed. Pitched down uh, 200 cents, I think, out of the Magma Kit. We're going to throw in an open hat. I got this out of a uh, Luger Kit, I think. The open hat I'm using for this song is actually the same open hat used in Exo Tour Life. 
Last thing for this intro is another guitar. So this first guitar is that uh, sample I showed you from Alex's Instagram page. There's a part two to that loop that he played, which wasn't great, which is why it's not in the whole song, but it's in the intro right here. This is what it sounds like after I chopped it up with no effects on it. Like not the best. I mean, we're throwing it in the song anyways. And then after all the effects, this really juices it up a little bit. Same effects as that other guitar is what we got. See? Pretty sweet now. So yeah, guys, that's our finished Lemonade intro. This whole section is the pre-chorus where Don is like Zanny bars, suicide doors, whatever. I kept calling it intro, it's really pre-chorus. That open hat's also gonna play, but we're also adding a crash simple. For the 808, I grabbed the Nick Mirror Audi 808. I think it's out of the bodega kit. Wrong, out of the diesel kit by Nick Mira. And I also grabbed the frosty kick. This is the pattern we're playing with the 808. You'll see the kick doesn't play on the first two bars. That makes the drop in bar three even harder. My light just went out. For that 808, I just threw on a little EQ, just cause it's a little too wild for me. And I also wanna make room for that kick. Once you throw that in, here is our finished chorus. All right, yeah, guys, so that's like the, the meat of this track, you know? Then going to the verse, we pretty much have the same patterns. And then bar 33, we have another instrument coming in. We have our keys. I'm grabbing the Ambient Space Piano. I literally loaded up Omnisphere, clicked keyboards, and grabbed the top result. I don't know. I don't know if that's what, you know, Mira did when he was producing it. But this is what we got with no effects on it for the keys. All right, yeah, so this is what the keys are gonna sound like with everything else together during Nav's verse. I jumped to the keys too quick. I meant to tell you guys uh, for this guitar right here, when it goes to Nav's verse, we're gonna add on Grosby and Fruity Love Filter. For Grosby, I'm grabbing this uh, beat gate right here at the bottom. It's gonna be orange, and then this is what it sounds like. So it's basically like cutting out the volume whenever it goes to that orange peak, but I'm just gonna go to about 50% volume mix. So it's not as harsh of an effect. And I'm also gonna throw on love filter. This is gonna kind of give it a uh, radio type feel. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you wanna see the finished remake, like I said, link in the description. Go check it out. It's about a minute 30 long in another video. Let me know what you guys thought I did well. What could have been improved? Which song you guys wanna see next? I always love the criticism and the feedback in the comments. Follow me on social media. Alec, let me know about the baby and I'll see you guys next time.